My name is Maria. I'm from the West Columbia Library. I'm with Angleton and we're both with the Brazoria County Library System. And today we're going to do creative upcycled gift wrapping. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some things that you might get out of your yard, some things you might get out of your attic. Mm -hmm. But let's get started. I have one of my old dolls from my attic. And it's a I very old doll, Kelly. Very 80s looking. Yes. I mean, yellow and pink and orange and turquoise. And I'm going to just put a tad bit of glue on her and glue her to the package. And just in case the person I'm doing this for wants to be able to play with her, you don't want to put so much that it can't be just peeled off. Or you could use double-sided tape. This is the center of a wrapping paper roll. And all I'm going to do is I've spray painted it to match sort of the pink on her on her swimsuit and I'm going to make a little skirt for her. And so what I'm going to do is cut it down a little bit because I did make it a little bit long. And then you put this down here. And then down. And the bottom. Down. Yeah, it looks really pretty. And I have spray painted the the little cut pine cones to match. I love to use cut pine cones because they're in your yard and they're really pretty. And you can spray paint them or you can hand brush them on with acrylic paint. I will tell you that's a little bit of a slower process. doll decorated gift. It looks so pretty! Ready for my lovely niece. What do you do? When you toss yarn into the back of your closet and you forget you tossed it back there, you wrap a present as a unit. Stack the presents and we're gonna stack it. We're not gonna center it, we're gonna stack it bottom to bottom. It's just a huge mess and we're just going to start cutting off clumps of it and tying it to make the main. Back at home, you can use regular paper, newspaper, construction paper, an old map. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going with the shorter end is going to sit on the main, and I just put glue all the way around the bottom of the horn. Okay, so what do we do for that? It's so I have some <clears throat> old beads that uh, I had bought to put on a dress or a shirt. Do we like this color? Ooh, that's a pretty color. Or do we like this color? Oh, I actually like that part a lot. This you, one. This one? Yeah, it's pretty. It's kind of did too because I think it picks up the mm -hmm. the purple and the mm -hmm. um, teal blue. Teal. So, now we're gonna put on the eyes, and you just I'm gonna face this to me when I do it, but you're just gonna look at it and see where you like the best. And our unicorn. And you can add some stars, a rainbow, you can decorate your un uniform presents. Yes. So, Santa Claus today. So I've got a hat, because you can get these anywhere and everywhere, and everybody has a hundred of them in their attic. Mm hmm And so I'm going to glue the hat on here. Stuff them a little. I have some cotton balls. Yeah. You want to give it to the baby? And the reason we decided to go with the socks first is the hot glue on the socks is going to take a little bit longer to dry.
actually so adorable. <clears throat> Except for this one. We're going to use an old book that I have no problem tearing up. Um, and we're going to make a Christmas tree. Watch the magic happen. And now that we've finished folding it, and we've taken it out and sprayed it, and now it's dried, we're gonna glue it on the box. I'm looking at so far, but I think I'm gonna add some more things to it, some little baubles and some lights. Oh, Kelly did an awesome job. It looks super pretty. And this is our Christmas tree. So for our next one, we'll be showing you how to take your old dinosaurs into a beautiful Christmas present or a birthday gift. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to make this into a Christmas tree. I think it'll be really cool. Okay. Right there in the middle. Okay. So let's go ahead and help glue our dinosaurs first. Okay. concoction we used on the other one. AKA fake snow. Yes. I've done this a few times and I like the way it dries. It gets really puffy. You can look back at the center and see how puffy it's getting. So before I glue the pine cone onto the Christmas present, I'm going to decorate it with some little jewels that we use for our snowman. Out our hobbies and crafts section located in the research room of our website. And you can also visit the makerspace too at any of your branches or stop by at the library. We have tons of craft books. Mm -hmm. yep. Tons and tons. Mm -hmm. So be sure to check us out and happy wrapping. Bye. Bye. Here's how you can access the Hobbies and Crafts Reference Center. Start out at the Brazoria County Library Systems webpage. That's bcls.lib.tx.us and select the Research Room tab. Once you're there, you'll want to scroll down to the Hobbies and Home Improvement category. Select that and then scroll down and here it is, Hobbies and Crafts Reference Center. I'm going to click on it and it will open a new tab.